And here we go. The countdown begins. New Year's 2012. Wait, no, it's not New Year's. It's the countdown to the end of the world. December 21st, 2012. And five, four, three. Prepare for the end. Two, one. We're still here. Looks like you lied to us, Mayans. What are we going to do? Okay. Now, was it the Mayans that lied to us? Or was it somebody else? Some other culture? Or was it just some shenanigans somebody was talking someplace and kind of spread rumors like wildfire? We'll find out soon enough. Here we are in beautiful Tikal, Guatemala. Home of the largest recovered ancient Mayan ruin temple area in the the world. Okay, now what we're going to talk about today is this so called doomsday. Okay, the end of the world, December 21st, as the Mayans predicted, or did they? Um, before we delve into all of that information, or the false information, hopefully, is what you'll soon to come understand and realize, let's talk a little bit more about the Mayan culture who they were, who they are what they did on a daily basis, how they lived, what they believed in, all this stuff. And after we go through all this information, I'll leave the interpretation up to you to decide whether it was our fault, our misinterpretation, or if it was just the minds messing with everybody's heads for the future. Hopefully you'll be able to decide that at the end of this little presentation. Okay, now like I said, let's talk a little about the Mayan culture and what they did, what they believed in. Okay. Mines were, they are, they're a peaceful tribe. They kind of lived off the land. They went day by day. They really valued their intelligence and their learning of new things. Um, they were also a tribe that really loved their entertainment, too. Uh, they created all these, these temples and these pretty much what would look like a modern-day castle centuries ago. Um, a lot of them were built to worship the gods. A lot of them were built to kind of worship their ultimate god, the sky, whereas a lot of their temples and their towers uh, aligned with certain constellations within the sky. Um, and then you'll see in this little cartoon printout that we've got here, and you can see this covers, this is all of Tikal right here. This covers a vast array of area and space. And we've got some courtyards over here. We've got some other smaller temples, some bigger ones, okay? Some other ones over here. Everything's kind of spread out. And over here in the center, we have this, what you can see is a little courtyard, okay? Now, in this courtyard, you have kind of what was referred to as an amphitheater. Now, this next picture is not as great as the previous one, but it kind of gives you a, bitter, a better picture of what it was like in Tikal or what is currently like there now as well. So in the center here, you have this amphitheater. And across from the amphitheater, there's housing areas, there's the biggest temple, Temple 4, and on either sides of the amphitheater are seating arrangements. Uh, now this amphitheater is gigantic, as you will soon come to see as we take a tour of the uh, of the temples and of the park itself in a little bit. Okay. Now, when I say big, big, okay, it's probably the size of our current day NHL hockey stadiums. And like I said before, Mayans really valued their intelligence and learning of new things and how things work and stuff like that. And you'll notice how my voice is becoming a little bit smaller and shorter now. In the center of this amphitheater, in a stadium of NHL caliber size, I can speak at this level in the center of the amphitheater and everybody, no matter where you were sitting, you can hear me as clear as day. Pretty amazing technology for not really having any technology back then. They were able to create a bunch of these different features and stuff like that to where they can have their entertainment or hear presentations or ceremonies, whatever the case may have been. Very, very smart culture of people. Okay. Now, um... They lived off the land, they worshipped the gods, they created all these temples to show their gratitude towards the gods, towards the sky, the things that they loved the most. Okay. Now, 
Let's get back to business a little bit, shall we? The end of the world. The supposed end of the world. And it's a couple minutes into 2012 now, December 21st. I'm still here. You're still here listening to me. Let's figure out what went wrong. Okay? Mayan calendar states that the world will come to an end December 21st. Okay? Is that true? Not quite. The calendar really states that on December 21st is the end of a current cycle. Okay? Sound a little bit familiar to you? Does to me too. Our current day calendar itself follows the same idea as ending a certain cycle. Okay? Now, basically what happened is that over the years, the decades, centuries, time, that you had conspiracy theorists that came around, or you had uh, rumor starters, you had you know pretty much anybody that could have taken that information from what they perceived they learned from the Mayan calendar, flipped it, twisted the words a little bit, and created their own little rumor from that point on. And what the end result was, was more rumors being spread, a uh, flipping of words around, as I just stated a second ago, and ended up causing mass hysteria all over the globe, people panicking, you know, and really what it ultimately did is just kind of trash the good, the good name of the Mayan culture. Um, now let's back up a second again, okay? All these conspiracy theorists and these rumor starters and stuff like that, Try to think back to, you know, your early days when you were you know, just a little guy, just a youngin. You ever played the game telephone in grade school? Sound a little bit familiar? Okay, try to remember back in the day when you were playing telephone. Try to remember a day when you were playing that game and the end message was the same as the original. Okay, think back real, real hard. Okay, and time's up. Couldn't think of it, right? Right, that's because it never, ever happened. The end result, the end message when playing telephone was nothing ever close to the original message. The same thing happened with the Mayan calendar. Okay. Now, what had happened within the Mayan calendar, okay, it states that on December 21st was the end. There was nothing more after that. Okay. People took that, took that as the end of the world, doomsday, all this stuff, not true at all. Okay? It basically just said that their cycle was over. Now, at that point in time, in their time, they went on a different time, kind of cycle, a different kind of calendar, a longer year, more days. Okay? Same idea, though. Same calendar. Now, what we have here is a blown-up version of our current-day calendar. Okay, now we've got January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. What happens after December on our, ca on our calendar? Okay. The world doesn't end. Our civilization doesn't go kaput. It doesn't disappear. It goes nowhere. It stays where it's at. Okay. What happens after December 31st? We start a new cycle. Same as the Mayans. They started a new cycle after December 21st. Went to December 22nd. Okay? We don't really know exactly what their calendar days consisted of. It could have went to, you know, our version of January 1st. December 22nd could have been their idea of a new calendar cycle. That stuff we're not exactly too sure on. But what we are sure is that it was just the end of a current cycle, kind of like exactly like our current modern day calendar now okay now here in Tikal let's say you were just some random walking along the street here in Tikal you come up to a local or a current modern day Mayan asking him all these questions about 2012 December 21st okay kind of in a panicky mode Hey, the only response that you're going to get from these people is a look of maybe shock, 
sadness, depression, irritation mostly. You know, they're going to look at you as if you ask them a question in Chinese. Okay? They speak Spanish there. They're not going to understand you. They're just going to be amazed as to how easily you are to readily believe rumors, which is exactly what December 21st, 2012, the end of the world, 